Well, hang in there, folks. We're almost done here. We still need to go from a concept on paper, as you see here, to uh, a finished diorama project, as you can see here. So this is really the uh, finished uh, diorama project that displays my um, advertisement uh, lures that are collectible. <clears throat> so I even put in a replica fish to help simulate a um, underwater um, pond or lake scene. A few of these lures here uh, mainly represent um, products in the tobacco industry. Um, the automotive industry and also in the um, spirits or the um, alcohol um, industry especially a lot of beer advertisements and I'm sure some of you guys will recognize these brands Well, let's uh, get started again, so hang in there. Well, thanks for coming back and this time we'll configure um, the dioramas starting with the uh, Angry Birds. So I took that picture that I showed you earlier and, and now it's time to transform it into the uh, finished diorama. So I started placing all those uh, props here and there. Remember I'm trying to use the architecture pieces as the puzzle piece for the Angry Birds to knock down because the um, bad piggies or will be hiding in underneath them as you can see I use those two small little miniature uh, rod and reels as a um, uh, slingshot but on these fish I have to uh, put little uh, rings in there so I can suspend them and this is what it finally finished out to be I'll throw in a couple of uh, close-up shots so you can see things under normal light situation. There's the slingshot or catapult, well actually slingshot. And there's the uh, suspended fish. There's the bad piggies hiding underneath the uh, architectural elements. And you can't see it here in normal light, but I took that fluorescent sand and I sprayed an aerosol glue to the gravel and sprinkled it on there. And this is what it looks like under the uh, uh, black light. I'll go ahead and throw in a couple of uh, close-up shots of it. So I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out, but we'll move on to the uh, next one. So I have all these stands that are acrylic plastic and I need to camouflage them to match the uh, gravel. So um, on one set of stands I did kind of like a uh, white limestone and this particular one kind of a brown sandstone. And I had to do the same thing with the bases to all the plants, you know, that way it matches the bottom. 
um, like I did with those replica fish for the uh, angry birds I gotta do it for these replica fish that are going to be in the other two dioramas I gotta glue on these little eye rings so I can uh, um, suspend them from the fishing pole rafters or supports And now it's time to configure the um, diorama for the advertisement lures. And these are my advertisement lures. So it's time to move them from the box into the diorama. And I had a few little knickknacks in there, like a broken fishing rod, like some angry fisherman got disgusted. He couldn't catch anything, so he threw his rod in the water. And it looks like he's real too. And I suspended some of them with these little uh, T pins and just smushed them down on the edge, top edge of the uh, backboard. And I'm suspending them using a um, four pound monofilament fishing line. That's pretty much the smallest I could find. And so uh, little by little, I just suspend things here and there, just kind of like cover up the holes in the uh, space, you know, three, thinking three dimensionally too. And I'll bet you in the real world, you probably find all these lures in the bottom of a lake or a pond or even a creek. And that's what this tacky stuff is used for. I just take bits of that and attach it to the lure and then smush it down on these little stands. That way the lure stays on the stand. All right, here's a little tour. Um, I kind of like take my uh, iPhone and I just kind of uh, run it through the diorama. It's almost like you're um, underwater with them. And like I said before, most of these advertisement lures are um, representing the automotive industry, the um, liquor and beer industry, and uh, the tobacco industry. like that Budweiser lure there. It's a spoon, but also serves as a bottle opener. All right, we'll move on to uh, the diorama for the uh, my antique or vintage fishing lures. <clears throat> so like I did with the advertisement diorama, I just start placing all the props around, trying to fill up 3D space. And again, I add a little knickknacks, like an old um, reel. And I'm applying or attaching um, the stands with uh, again silicon glue and using that tacky substance to uh, um, mount the um, fishing lures onto the stand. We'll do one more um, tour, another little. 3D effect like uh, you're swimming into the uh, diorama. Of course, I did this with my little iPhone. A 
A lot of these lures are highly collectible. And I'll admit, I got most of them off of eBay. Those lures there, that's usually from musky. We don't really, really find that in Texas. And of course, those are the stands before I um, had them covered with the, the small gravel to match the base. Well, that's it for now, folks. I um, guess I'll see you on the road or in the workshop, which is actually...